All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE Legends. Raw is Roar, and it's gonna be episode. Well, great way to start off the first week of WWE Legends. Raw's War. Tonight we got Eddie Guerrero versus Booker T. Bulldog versus Scott Hall. Batista versus Rikishi. Triple H versus Kane. Stone Cold versus RVD. And our main event, The Rock versus Kurt Angle. Next week, there will be a Deadly Game tournament leading up to the first WWE pay per view. The first pay per view, Legends pay per view, which will be Deadly Game. The for shot the we will have a huge tournament at the end of it we will have a shot winners will face each other for a shot at the WWE Championship and we'll go from there so let's get this night underway Eddie Guerrero versus Booker T to kick us off on WWE Legends Raw's War. tonight. Well, I'm pretty sure the entire WWE universe is going to get their money's worth tonight. Do you feel the heat? A win tonight proves he's not a sucker. Thank goodness with Saxton out here, there's no room for any more. I beg your pardon? The six time, six time, six time, six time, six time, six time champion two time of the Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, Booker T. A truly dominant superstar all the way back to his debut in WCW. Yeah, one of the all-time greats both in singles and the tag team divisions. You know, Booker knows success as both a tag team legend and a multi-time world champion. But Cole, let us not forget that he is our king and the ring is Booker T's court. And Saxton's out here to be the court jester. Kicking things off, and Eddie's one of the more uh, innovative superstars of all time, wouldn't you say? Oh, that's code for lie, cheat, and steal, and damn right he is. Eddie's a man after my own heart, Cole. He'll do whatever it takes to win. Frankly, I find his honest dishonesty very admirable. You contain multitudes, Corey, as does Eddie. And ready for him across the ring is Booker T. And you just know you're in for a show with Booker's in the ring. Yeah, but don't get it twisted, Saxon. Booker T isn't just about the flash. He's got the ability to be a thorn in the side of any competitor. Oh, a kick right to the gut. Another, and another one. one. Oh, fly. Nice combo. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. You either want to pose in Eddie Guerrero tonight. Corey, what do you focus on to score the victory in this match? You need to adapt to Guerrero's playbook, which is a complete lack of a rule book. Be aware when he's willing to lie, cheat, or steal, and initiate proper countermeasures. Stop him from malfeasance, and know when you can perhaps get one over on Latino Heat. Sounded rough. And scissors Ooh, take that. Oh, very nice. No way. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. 
I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. Well, medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Oh, my goodness. Looks like Booker T is feeling it. He'll head to the ring. Look out! Suicide dive! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. against him. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Oh, here we go. Brain Buster! And finds a counter. Booker is going to look to press on the advantage. Booker tipping the scales a bit here. What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's going to have to shift it into another gear. He made a, here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. And a win. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner, Eddie. scores the victory tonight. Eddie Guerrero using every ounce of his ability to secure the victory here. Winning by any means necessary. What a great match. Eddie Guerrero, your winner here tonight on Raw's War. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next, the Bulldog versus Scott Hall. Both men... Definitely going for the Intercontinental Championship in the near future. Up next, here on Raw's War.
the Hall of Fame powerhouse. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. A European title winner, Intercontinental Championship winner, a truly decorated competitor in WWE. Yeah, Corey, from his early days of WrestleMania to the Attitude Era, the British Bulldog has been dominant for decades. Here comes the Hall of Famer, Scott Hall. And his opponent, representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. Plots in the shadows, bum rushes the ring, knows when to attack. Scott Hall left WWE and Razor Ramon behind and proceeded to raid the ring on Monday Nitro, waging all-out war. Who can forget this man's immortal quote? Hard work pays off, dreams come true. Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Well, I'm pretty sure Scott Hall is about to cause some bad times for his opponent. When it comes to the British Bulldog, his name tells a lot of the story. He's a rugged competitor who broke into the business by wrestling his way around England. Yeah, and all that time honing his craft across the pond certainly made the Bulldog into a ferocious competitor, which is a great quality to have when you're taking on the best in the world here in WWE. And as always, it looks like the British Bulldog came ready for a fight. But we have to acknowledge a superstar like Scott Hall. His shoulders are dead. Right to the kidneys from behind. Oh, God. And countouts are legal, so hopefully, this will be a short trip outside. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Systematic attack on that arm. What's the best way to contend with a superstar who has the British Bulldog's impressive muscular build? Well, if you can't overpower the British Bulldog, your best chance is to outmaneuver him. Pick a bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. Oh. Well-placed elbow will get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. He's taking some good hits. All the way up. Sidewalk slam delivered. Got Hall with the grip and the choke slam. Perfect timing on that maneuver from Hall. I assure you, he has more in his back pocket left to show. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Lifting up their opponent. What's it so thunderous right hand? Oh, 
gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh, man. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Uh oh, no! And the momentum's running away from Bulldog now. I like what we're seeing here. Doing his best to outmaneuver the Bulldog and picking his spots to attack. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Bulldog just adding salt to the wound right now. Saving us from having to sit through that. That could dislocate your shoulder. Looks well, like Hall's loading up. Scott Hall, right where he wants it. Because we're about to see the down. One more for the bad guy. That could put Davey Boy down for good. And got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Here is your winner, Scott Hall. An unexpected loss for the British Bulldog here in this one. I'll admit, I'm a bit surprised myself to see Davy Boy down like this. Goes to show you, Saxton, muscles aren't everything. Great win for Scott Hall over the Bulldog here on Raw's War. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up next, Batista versus Rikishi. Should be a good one up next here on Raw. Time for the animal to be unleashed. Batista is in the building. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds. The animal, Batista! The animal, six foot six. 290 pounds, the personification of unbridled power. Batista has torn through the competition and always gets what he wants. Six foot six, 295 pounds, all animal. We've seen that when the beast is unleashed, nobody can stop Batista. Championships, main events, Batista will take them by force. And gentlemen, tonight the animal is on the hunt for even more. Oh, Saxton, sit down. Byron, <laughs> go Rikishi. Yeah. And his opponent from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi. Not only an all-time great, but the father of Jimmy and Jay Uso, the real person responsible for their tag team prowess, Saxton. And their dance moves, too. Hey, guys, you think Rikishi would give me a dance lesson? Absolutely not, Saxton. With any luck, you'll get a stink face. No, no. Rikishi wouldn't do that to me. Rikishi has held the tag team titles multiple times, an intercontinental champion as well, and he knows when to dance and when to fight.
Here we go with Rikishi in the ring, as agile a big man as you'll ever see, hailing from one of the most storied families in all of wrestling. Rikishi isn't a superstar to be taken lightly. Yeah, underestimate Rikishi, and he won't hesitate to make you pay for it in the most humiliating way imaginable. Whether it's a stink face or just ruthlessly taunting you with his dance moves, Rikishi will make a fool out of you if you let him. And you know he'll be wearing a big smile the whole time it's going down, too. And we know Batista is powerful, but can that power last for the duration of the match? Batista's an insane specimen, Saxton. An altered beast who is as ferocious as ever. I would never bet against the animal's capabilities. And that DDT was well delivered. Oh, caught by the back elf. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. See if this is the start of a rally. Oof. Batista's aggression is always to find him in the ring. How does he keep it from getting the better of him? Well, the animal cannot get carried away. Batista has the power, but what he needs to do is pace himself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. He doesn't want to burn himself out too fast. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Spot. Elbow drop. Piercing. Rikishi is getting picked apart right now. Batista pacing himself with this offense. The animal keeping himself from getting carried away. Getting him into the corner. And Batista gets warded off. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And oh! Shoulder tackle. Power slam. Good night. Not the position you want to be in right now. No. Someone call a dentist. Oh, a blow to the bread basket. So ruthless. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. He may be in a bad way here. The animal's been grinding his teeth all night, and that was an indication that he's ready to feast now. someone as large and explosive as Rikishi, you have to celebrate for now because Rikishi isn't going to appreciate anything about this. Big win for Batista over Rikishi here on Raw's War. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up next here on Raw's War, Triple H versus Kane. One on one in the ring. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple A. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple-time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. The big red monster could smash him into oblivion. What does this superstar have to do to stop that from happening? The Big Red Machine is here. And his opponent from the pits of hell, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! What a terrifying sight to behold. What a frightening presence. The evil inside this man. Matched by the frightening amount of destruction that Kane is capable of. A multi-time champion. He's dominated WWE for many, many years. There's the bell and Triple H ready for competition here tonight. The Cerebral Assassin is one of the most polarizing superstars to ever step foot in WWE. Getting things done his own way is just what's made him so successful. He doesn't just play the game, he is the game. You certainly have to be on your toes when facing Triple H. And across the ring is... Oh no, he could be caught here, bad spot for... And he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. Oh no. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And there he attacked Kane like his life depends on toppling this monster. Time to play the game. Heading up, he's thinking big. From the top, through the air. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Enough already. The cerebral assassin showing how he earned the name, working his way into an opponent's head. DDT. Oh. Triple H is always thinking out there, always a couple steps ahead of his opponents. I can't imagine a world in which that's not the case here tonight. I expect we'll see the very best of the Cerebral Assassin here tonight, Corey. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Oh, man. Kane just daring his opponent to go toe to toe. Bang! This could do it. He narrowly avoids the count. He thought he had it. The intimidation, part of what makes Triple H the cerebral assassin. Inverted vertical. 
Tactical suplex. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. What a shot! And he's out of there in a nick of time. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, man. Knee right to the... He thinks he has it. And he gets the shoulder up before two. I didn't think this match was close to over. What a boot. This is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Caught with a neck breaker. And targeting the leg there. And Triple H is stepping up. Oh, God. To the gut, too. Looking to vanquish the devil's favorite demon. Triple A trucks the arms. This is vintage Hunter right here. Pedigree. Trademark execution from the game. Cover. He's still in this fight. Talk about inhuman. No idea how Kane was able to kick out of that. The big red monster is still in this. And guys, Triple H is in a rare moment of confusion. The game thought he had enough to end this, but his instincts were wrong. Triple H taking the upper hand. Triple H has got him right where he wants him now. The clear result of master planning on part of the cerebral assassin. Flying. Diving clothesline. Incredible height. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. Oh, just turn that around. Oh, using the turnbuckle to neutralize their opponent. And I like it. Oh, kick right in the gut. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough. Kane's piercing gaze landing squarely on his opponent. Planning on what to do next. Planet face first. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. He steps foot in the ring again. Triple H has him up and down with a backbreaker. Triple H has turned his attention to the WWE faithful. favorite demon may have been on the losing end tonight, but you can bet he's already drawing up a sadistic plan for revenge. Triple H with the big win here on Raw's War. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, up next here on Raw's War, Stone Cold versus RVD up next. is the prelude to a beatdown. The Texas Rattlesnake is here. That's right. That's right. You got... The following 
is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! A Royal Rumble winner, a multi-time champion, but still, Stone Cold Steve Austin is fired up and hungry for more. In Austin's mind, the top prizes in this company are always for his taking. He takes what he wants around here. Just like you'd expect a man who has made a career out of doing things on his terms. When Austin's in the mix, it's his way or the highway. Here comes the awe-inspiring, high-flying Hall of Famer. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. A true trailblazer when it comes to unorthodox style in the ring. Hard not to be excited about this match with the innovative Rob Van Dam in the ring. An imaginative superstar with no regard for gravity or his own well-being. And that's what you get with a game-changing talent like Rob Van Dam. A guy who tosses out the rule book and competes with a style all his own. We'll just have to see what daredevil maneuvers RVD has in store for us for this one. And waiting to strike across the ring is the Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. What makes Stone Cold such a dangerous opponent is his ability to strike out without any warning, shifting the odds in his favor. On top of that, Corey, Stone Cold's resiliency only adds to the element of danger. You might get him down, but keeping him down is the real task. Sure was pretty, but we don't judge matches on style points. Oh, a costly error there. Vicious right forearm. Austin stopped a lot of mud holes in his day, Corey. What's key to making sure he's not at the bottom of one? Plain and simple, be ready for a fight. I can't remember if Stone Cold has ever applied a hammer lock, but when it comes to throwing fists and delivering stomps, there is nobody better at dishing out that kind of punishment. Can he do it here? Gets the shoulder up in one. Close call, but not enough yet. This is dangerous territory for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. Sorry about that, you guys. Love it. 
Drop kick right on point. Delivers the knee. That defiant mentality of Austin being met in kind right there. Yeah, RBD with a very efficient form of offense. Ooh, bullseye. Oh, and a knee to the face. And Stone Cold can't find a way off the blocks. And Stone Cold being worn down here. Austin wanted a brawl, but his opponent's dictating the terms of this match at this juncture. Oh, leg lariat. Twists the arm and a... Oh, working on the arm. Arm ring. Oh, and a kick. That was nasty. Texas Rattlesnake is the one that got bit there. Yeah, as RBD struck with that one-of-a-kind offense of his. Two count kicks out. Obviously still has some fight left. Rob Van Dam turning his attention. Uh -oh. Avoiding contact. You can tell RVD is lighting up now. And Austin fends him off. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Stone Cold with a well-timed shot. Stone Cold letting his feelings... To Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. He knows how to avoid contact. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Austin trying to kick some you-know-what right about now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Drive. RVD. Van Dam can taste victory. Makes a cover. And the ref stops the count. Pinching in the arm ringer, but right hand will counter. Great strength being shown here. Oh, God, face first. I'll tell you this, guys. No competitor here is looking to give in. It's going to tell me to end it here. And he kicks out of the pen in one. These one counts are going to get harder and harder. Does he have him here? Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. You can't take much more of this. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. And that was an effective attack, guys. He returns to the ring. Rob Van Dam with his opponent in prime position. Here he comes! Split-legged moonsault! We've seen it imitated, but never duplicated. What a move from RVD. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. Well, oh, look out! Tommy Cannonball sent on! Incredible agility. A helter-skelter attitude here. Getting Rob Van Dam! Somehow got the shoulder up. Intestinal fortitude on display. RBD! Five-star frog splash! RBD was right on target. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. Rob Van Dam! Rob Van Dam picks up the win. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them is...
isn't the one celebrating right now. What a great matchup that was back and forth, but RVD gets a huge win over Stone Cold Steve Austin here on Raw's War. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, our main event, The Rock versus Kurt Angle, one on one here on Raw. champion material but he recently proved he's red carpet material as well well the rock can certainly do it all but balancing hollywood and wwe is no easy task with a competition level this high Corey, i think you're being a bit harsh there from what we've seen if the rock works as hard in the ring as he does on set i'm sure he'll be a household name in no time Be wary of the ankle lock, as Angle can put you in it at any time. Make way for a wrestling machine. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle! Gold medalist and a multiple-time WWE Champion. It takes a lot of ruthless aggression to even survive against Kurt Angle. And with the ring of the bell, The Rock is ready and rearing to go. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment, The Rock is nothing but a pure athletic specimen. His in-ring ability is something quite literally he was born with. We know the legacy The Rock came from and the one he'll leave. But tonight, he has to be focused on the task at hand. Yeah, Byron, you be sure that all that and more is weighing on his opponent here. But he's got to deal with Kurt Angle, who won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. He knows exactly what it takes to win, no matter what. And Angle looks ready as ever to put all of his in-ring smarts to work in this one. Suplex. One strong attack after another. Yeah! Belly to belly. This is a very convincing display of power we are seeing in front of our eyes. Setting up for something here. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. That move showed he's put the time in to study angle. Slam. 
Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Top oh. rope. And he goes for the pin. And he manages to kick out at one. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. He got whipped into that corner. My gosh, over the head, belly to belly. When it comes to size and power, you really have to give it to The Rock. He's got it all. Corey, what do you think Kurt Angle is going to have to do to keep up and get the victory here tonight? Well, Angle needs to remember who he is and stick with what he does best. He needs to out-wrestle The Rock with his superior technique to make this a mat-based contest. Keep the Brahma Bull down at all costs. Well, I don't think there was anything necessary about that. What are they doing here? You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. And now thrown back into the ring. Just a few seconds left. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Cover here! Winner, and what a statement by The Rock. Here is your winner, The Rock! This was an unbelievable confrontation. Kurt Angle may have believed that he was the true people's champion, but The Rock provided an emphatic response to the contrary. Angle has nothing to be ashamed of, though. We just witnessed an incredible battle from him, but in the end, it was all about The Rock. There's no denying the power of the great one, and Angle just had to experience that firsthand. What a matchup between The Rock and Kurt Angle. The Rock gets the big win there. Hope you guys enjoyed Raw's War Legends Edition. I will see you guys... Next week on Raw, but I will see you guys this Sunday for Backlash. So many matches. We got the World Heavyweight Championship and the WWE Championship, Universal Championship going to be decided at Backlash. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys for Backlash.